Hi everyone. So this week in my YouTube video, what I'm going to do is take my jelly papers that I showed you how I printed and make them into a finished painting. So this is a work in progress. I, I, sh I show you how I choose the papers that I'm going to use in this, how I um, stick them onto the background, how I paint on top of them, how I add layers, how I draw into it. So there's lots of different techniques in this video that you can pick up from watching this. And I'm going to be filming another video because I think it's to me it's not quite um, where I want it to be so I'm going to keep going with it and I'll film the next stage and that'll be um, in the next video. So if you're happy to follow along, let's get started.
Okay, everyone, I um, got all my papers glued on, so I've got my first layer done. I used a combination of the matte medium and the gel medium, just to because the matte medium was a bit too runny for some of these papers, so they seem to have all glued down quite nicely and flatly. I've just filed the edges so that they're all nice and clean before I start the next layer. I think what I might do is put some tape on the edges in case I want to keep the clean wood so that just gives me the option if I decide to do that um, so you can just put a bit of masking tape along the edge and you can either collage the edges or paint them such yourself at the end how you want to finish your piece So I'm going to start off with some paint just to sort of knock back some of the areas and take away the blockiness of it. So I've got some white, just white titanium paint there. So I'm just going to run some onto a roller. Just going to, that's a heavy body white I'm using. Okay, so I've got some little pieces of paper here. This is actually Marushi paper, but you could do it on any art tissue paper that you liked. And I've drawn on one side, so I'm going to put this side I've drawn on face down. So I kind of want to, this area is quite blocky, so I just want to sort of break it up. So I've got a few different pieces. I'm just going to try and see which ones I prefer. And then put them down somewhere. to see <laughs> so this one I've just scribbled my own handwriting on top of I'm just trying to create more layers here in the painting so these should once I put the matte medium on dissolve and just see the writing Thank you. 
I'm going to try that. See what happens here. So I'm going to put a little bit down on the surface. Place that down there. So you can see, so it's not smudging the uh, pencil at all because it's on the other side of the tissue. subtle but I like it I normally like to have things in three places if I'm going to have an element so that it moves your eye around the piece. So the beauty of doing it on the tissue paper is that you can sort of try it out to see if it's going to work before you stick it down. So I'm going to give that a dry first. That's too big. I just love how you can see what's going on underneath it there. This is printer's scrim that I'm cutting up here. A bit like a bit heavier than cheesecloth, that sort of thing. 
just to give this a more of a textural element. It's gonna work. I like that.
and my light has just died on it.
Thank <laughs> you.